Hello, good morning, good morning, Alice. Yeah, it's spring, well, meteorological spring. Saturday the 2nd of March 2019, 06.45 hours British springtime. Greenwich Mean Time actually, and it's drizzling. But, it's semi-light. I can go with that. Mm. Right, um, going that way, heading for the Rickard and the Otley later on, in between Costa Coffee and the Malcolm Uphill. See you later. Well, it is spring, so of course, it's still drizzling. That's the castle. And, Costa. Oh, can't see it. Costa. They're open and it. Ooh, there's no way to go. Look, there's a daft for St. David's Day, man. St. David's Day plus one in this case, in the uphill. And look, there's real water in it. Moving on. I've had this before. This is. Oh god, I can't remember. It's by Castle Rock. It's something. I've got to look at the screen now. Snow White. 4.2% alcohol by volume. Carpet for Mr. Manning. <coughs> mm. Hint of fruit. I'm getting sort of badly oaky, spicy ness. Which is nice. B plus in a bit. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go with it. I'm in my let's get thrown at the camera mode again. This is this is keg. Um, and I've had it on bottles before, but I can't remember if I've ever had it. Right. Um, American Pale Ale from Shipyard Brewing, 12.5% alcohol by volume, brewed in the UK. Pretty big head. Anyway, I need to get on the bus before long. A little bit cold at the moment. Nice hoppy finish. Crucially hoppy. I'll come back to this. So I've warmed it up a bit and my hands are cold. And spicy and fruity. Um, not like in the bottles, although I know that Doombar Draft and Doombar Bottles are made in two different places, so who knows. I'm going to give it a B plus. Because I seem to remember the bottles were really rather good. Never mind. I'm behind schedule. Who knew? So, the tough going south. And the tough going north towards Pontypris. Myself, I'm going up that way. It's still breezy. I'm going in here. Well, this is interesting. Look at the glass on this side, cold black label. Pint. On the other side, Brecken Brewing. So, yeah. Anyway, um, Digger's Gold by Grey Trees from Abadeo Gold Point. That's four. Whatever. Nice flower. I like flowers in pubs. Hmm. Fruity. Hoppy. Slightly tropical. B plus in a bit. Not from Brecken Group. The Octu. Um, a different direction. That's the entrance there. The wind's dropped a bit. No lots of weather in South Wales. I fear a takedown due to the music. Or even, well, I don't monetize them anyway, so whatever. Here's the thing Disco King, which this isn't, thankfully. 
turning point brew co with disco king 5.1% alcohol by volume and American pale ale wintry forest real flooring Mr. Manning this is real wood We have issues with Mr. Manning's Chrome box, so that's why I'm showing video of the floor. As I quickly, anyway, back onto the beer. This is NZ Pale, as in New Zealand, from North Riding Brewing. 4.5% alcohol by volume. There are beers on, no cast. Mm. Actually, it's a bit... It's hoppy, but then you've got a sort of... Um, a sweet malty finish. And it goes all bitter again. This is a takedown anyway. So, three plus in a bit. And there's a game being played on the bar. Just chatting to Gabrielle, and she's really nice. Discussing police stations. Anyway, this is Hop and Glory by the Brew Foundation. It's an IPA, and it says Hoppy Tropical and Floral 4.9% alcohol by volume. Lovely floor. Ooh. I'm not sure about the um, floor. This really um, It's good. Big plus in a bit. Thank you.